Peeves, it's Lady Raina Sorrow here, and welcome back to my Persona 4 Arena. So, welcome to the Velvet Room. Well, Very well, let's, let's do go. this. So, you don't need me to say that obviously we're going to be doing Mitsuru's story, and if I have time, I'll be able to do Naoto's story, but right now, Mitsuru, let's go. Mm -mm. Why are there two of her? I am a shadow. The true self. It's Miss President's shadow! <laughs> I'm taking the real one with me. I'll never let you catch me! Labyrus double gives- wait, Labyrus- Labyrus's double gives me a glare of pure malice before carrying off the original and fleeing the scene. I'm almost cha I almost chase after her without thinking, but I stop myself and reconsider. That second Labrys. Who was that? Everything I thought knew has been overturned by this turn of events. What is she? You seem to know. First tell me something. Why was she in so much pain? What's all this about Labrys and weapons? I'm sorry, but that's classified. It's not for civilian ears. Then I won't tell you anything about her! If you want to know what I know, you have to tell me what you know first. <laughs> that may have sounded too much like I don't care if she's in pain. It would be unreasonable to demand that she tells me everything she knows without, without offering something in return. And she's already seen Labrys' true form, so... I give a small sigh. Well, I suppose you're involved now. All right, her official name is Fifth Generation Anti-Shadow Suppression Weapon, codenamed Labrys. She is an android weapon created by the Kirijo group years ago. In order to use Persona abilities, she was given a heart. She's a machine? Kujikawa's shocked expression conveys her thoughts as perfectly as if she'd spoken aloud. We couldn't let her run free. Just look at the trouble she's caused. We came to retrieve her and minimize any damages. I hold back no details in telling her of the cruel experiments she must have underwent during her development. Kujikawa takes it all in and quietly sighs. So when she said she didn't want to remember, that's what that was about. <sighs> hey, why didn't you listen to what she was trying to say? She said that she didn't want to remember, but you kept pushing your demands on her and making her feel bad. That's... I pause, considering her accusation. She may be right. Indeed, I was so desperate to put an end to this case that I didn't listen to what Labrys had to say. You gave her a heart because you needed her to have one, and then kept treating her like that. No wonder she's in pain. Tears stream from the girl's eyes. As angry as she is, she's crying for Labrys. Even after seeing her true mechanical form and learning that she is a weapon, Kuchikawa has nothing but compassion for Labrys. Why are you siding with Labrys so much? I heard her voice a few times. It sounded like it was from her past. She said she was forced to fight when she didn't want to. That she was hurt and afraid. I see. Kuchikawa had almost had also her that had blah blah his blah blah blah. Okay, I see. Kuchikawa had also heard the voice just as I did when she used her persona. Kuchikawa slowly tells me about what happened last year, the reasons why she came to Inaba, how due to her career as an idol she was cut off from those who knew who bleh, knew her or who she was, leaving her isolated. How when she had lost faith in everything, she met people who would believe in her, saving her life. Someone to believe in, huh? Hearing that brought up again is a sore point for me. She's Miss President's shadow. I tell Kujikawa the details I had previously said I couldn't reveal. Kujikawa? The repressed desires you don't want to admit? Here they take on a life of their own. So that's why... Then what's her ultimate goal? Why did she take Labrys? Shadows. They try to become real. 
It confronts the original with weaknesses to make them deny that the shadow's part of them. Also, it can take their place. I see. Then there's no time to lose. Do you think you can save her? The shadow doesn't disappear until the original person accepts it. That's why I must believe in her and support her. Even if it's left unsaid, I still understand Kujikawa's desire. I share it. Kujikawa, let me amend my earlier statement. I didn't come here just to minimize the damage. I came to save everyone. Will you trust me on that? <sighs> she looks into my eyes, and after wiping her face with a handkerchief, she nods slightly. Make sure you listen to what Labrys wants to say this time, okay? I fully intend to. Kujikawa smiles in embarrassment. She apologizes to me for taking such a spiteful tone. I can tell she's being honest and sincere. Kuchikawa promises to cooperate as much as possible for Labrys's sake. I decided to have her contact her friends and pass on a simple explanation of the situation. She agrees and adds that she'll try and contact Akihiko and Aigis as well. She seems to have already grasped how our safeguards against detection by personas work. Speaking with you made me understand something important. Thank you for that. <laughs> <laughs> it must be that smile of yours that catches your audience's heartstrings. Promise me then. Make sure you come back with her. Spurned on her by her words, I begin running to where I detect Labrys is uh, where La detect uh, to where I detect Labrys ought to be. Though I don't know yet have a plan to save her. If I find her again and listen this time, will that truly be enough to save Labrys? Who knows? But we shall see. Dun dun dun. The invisible walls are still here, leading me to the music room. According to the guide map, it should have been further away, but just as with the announcement room, the layout of this version of the school's, school's off. Who are you? Someone else is already inside. He frowns upon seeing me. I recognize his face from the video. Hmm... If the walls are still here, does that mean the Grand Prix rules are still being enforced? As a test, I hold a hand out to the space where I just entered the room. It seems we're locked in. The rule against proceeding without fighting is still in effect. Uh, are you Kirijo-san by any chance? Rise got in touch with me. I am indeed Mitsuru Kirijo. As I recall, you were the sister com... Uh, no, your name was... Narukami. There doesn't seem to be anything scrambling our senses. Do you understand what I'm saying? I don't sense any noise, but it can't hurt to ask. He nods, showing that he understands the question. Risa told me you were out to save Miss President. Labrys, her name was? That's right. But I must act swiftly. There's no noise here because our enemy thinks we'll be hesitant to fight in our right minds. Would you mind conceding? I don't want to drag you into this any further. I understand, but I can't do it like that. Narukami gives a wary smile before his expression flattens again. If the rules are still in effect, my friends are still trapped. They still need someone to rescue them. I fought battles I didn't want and taken on a lot of responsibilities, which includes saving Labrys, of course. It's not that I don't believe you, but I don't think it's right to simply hand the burden over to someone I just met. I see. Sorry, this must be frustrating to you. No, don't misunderstand me. I have no objections. I admire your willingness. This is the most politeful conversation to a beginning battle that I've seen. With the final battle awaiting ahead, perhaps it's best that the stronger of us two should be the one to proceed. The atmosphere in the area changes. Narukami senses it as well and readies his weapon. It's strange, but he reminds me of someone. Although his fighting stance, physique, and features are completely different, he still reminds me of the one who saved us. The entire world. I like the look in your eyes. I will test your resolve with my sword. 
<laughs> this is good. This is awesome. I like the fact that like now we're getting mentions of um the protagonist from Persona 3. Let's see how many TVs I break this time. Well, okay. Uh, eh, eh. Poof. Ah! Hey! Come on! Okay. Nice. Quick and easy. Quick battles to get things over with. I will move on. I won! I'm leaving. I hold out my hand to Narukami, who had collapsed on the floor, and help him up. Fortunately, I won the match. Although in fighting these people, I have come to see them in a new light. But first, I have something to ask you. In this world, to encounter another leads to an intimate win-or-lose situation. Immediate. Intimate? Why? Uh, I can read! That's why I had intended to limit my interactions with others. All I felt regarding these students was regret for dragging them into this mess. But in order to be sure I could save Labrys, I feel that I'll need their help. Since they have more experience with this world, they're most likely closer to, set to setting this. You said that you want to save Labrys too, but you barely know her. She isn't human and has been through things that aren't easy to understand. What were you going to do for her when you found her? Narukami quietly closes his eyes before answering. Nothing in particular. But I could have stood at her side at the very least. At her side. A number of things dawn on me with Narukami's words. Though I had resolved to fight by myself, I wasn't truly alone. I had family and friends who supported me. Oh, what family is still alive? No offense. No offense, Mitsuru, no offense. But Labrys was alone. She fought against the same units who, sh who shared her fate. And after, ah! after escaping into this world, she had no one. I see. I understand now. He politely underlined something important I had overlooked. He's not the first to show me a new perspective like this. This warm sensation that spreads within me. I understand now. That's why Narukami reminded me of him. You really do remind me of an old friend. I do? Yes. Though he's more than just a friend. I owe my life to him. I attempt to contact Kuchikawa again. When she responds, I give her another request. She eagerly agrees, and Narukami, who's listening in, nods in satisfaction. Well then, I'll be going now. To save Labrys. There's no hesitation now. I've seen what must be done. I must go forth to keep my promise with them! Labrys will be saved. I'm certain of that now. Excellent. In order to pursue the escape shadow, I stop briefly and attempt to locate, locate it with my persona. It's on the move, but it's headed to the... Ah! Kujikawa, can you hear me? The shadow is headed to the announcement room again. I've already picked up on her and got out. Also, I've managed to reach your friends. I was just talking to someone named Igis. Kujikawa says she's never tried to contact multiple people at once, but with a little practice, she picked up on the she picked up on the knack. Her persona support skills are advanced indeed. In contrast to my own inability to contact my friends against this noise without linking my persona to the communication 
She easily located Akihiko and Aegis. Really, she's quite talented. I guess can you hear me? I need you to keep Kujikawa safe. Understood. <laughs> Understood. The shadow's presence is nearby. I retrace my steps to the announcement room and throw open the door. I'm ready to end this. My my. You come. Sorry, but you're too late. You really helped me out though. You were pretty hard on this girl, weren't you? I I The expression drains from Labrys's face as she mutters angrily at herself. The shadows must be hammering at Labrys's psyche in order to have Labrys deny herself. Look me. We guess. This human seems to take us back. She'll never understand how we feel. A typical human. Stop! Don't say anymore! Labrys. I step between Labrys and her shadow and draw my weapon. The shadow looks at me and her face boils over with hatred. What's this all about? Oh, of course. It would be a problem if she were destroyed while you were retrieving her. Oh. Retrieve? No, no. This has got nothing to do with me. How long are you going to lie to yourself? It's about time you face reality. You want the everyday boys and girls to experience what you have to go through, right? That's why we're in a school, having a fighting tournament. You want to see close friends fight for their lives against each other. Because if they do that, then they might understand. You want to make them understand. That ain't true! But it didn't work. <laughs> you read your march in here and spoiled your fun! It's alright though. You don't have to worry about that anymore. I'll take care of everything from here. I'll destroy anyone who doesn't understand you and comes to get in your way. Just like you once did. No! No! That ain't what I want! You're... The shadow smirk widens as Labr at Labrys's protestation Protestations? Protests? <laughs> Labrys's rejection seems to have crossed some line. I can sense the shadow's power rising dramatically in response to her words. That's right. I myself, I'm free, even if I'm a misunderstood machine. They kind of rhymed. I'll escape from all this. <laughs> gone berserk but there should still be time i'll make you settle down i support labrys who slumped over and make my intentions plain what's with you you hypocrite the way you've been acting pisses me off how can you be so kind to her no matter what you do it won't erase your sins fine since you're a kirijo why not tell you exactly what your family did to me what they made me do! The shadow thrusts her weapon towards me as if sentencing me to a judgment. Remember those spectating students? What did you think those human shaped silhouettes were? Hmm? For a moment, her unexpected shift in topics catches me off guard. Those were shadows, too. Shadows of the prototypes you made her destroy. Say what? And they were destroyed. Their information was transferred to the victor. What's left of their hearts remains deep inside Labyrinths. That's right. They all have a soul. But because they never fully developed, their shadows helped her play school after they separated from her. So is that how this school was created? In a way? Huh. 
Do you see? Those spectators you saw everywhere were her sisters she had to kill at the Kirito group's orders. I'm at a loss for words. I can only stand there speechless. I haven't forgotten. I'll never let their memories or their pain go. I won't forgive anyone who tries to take my freedom. Her anger, it's justified. It's natural for her to hold a grudge after what we did to them. I acknowledge your anger and grief. Setting things right here is my way of atoning. This fight will release you from your curse once and for all. But up, 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 but Okay, what difficult? Okay, hold on. Before, uh, no. What difficulty is this on?